According to the website of the district attorney, after, after an incident such as the police killing of Tony Robinson Jr., the goals of the DA are to provide prompt and fair justice while also providing critical services to the family. Further, the DA office believes that peace and justice are not possible without progressive and fair law enforcement. The family of Tony Robinson Jr. wonders what about this process is progressive, fair, and also wonders what critical services have been provided to them. Yes. The family calls on the DA, Ishmael Ozen, to practice what his office preaches, to do what his office says it will do, and that would lead to criminal charges, to an indictment of Officer Matt Kinney for the killing of Tony Robinson Jr. Right on. While the police department and those affiliated with the investigation are trying to frame this as fair and independent, this is not a fair process. This is not a just process. What we know about how this case has been handled so far is that it is unjust. We know that Madison Police Department got to choose who they wanted to see oversee the investigation. We know that the Division of Criminal Investigation has worked in partnership with MPD on every step of the investigation. We know that the Division of Criminal Investigation is staffed with retired law enforcement officers. Although the law allows all of this, it is not an independent investigation by any ethical or moral standards. This process is biased. What we do know is that Tony was unarmed and was shot at least seven times in the chest and head by Officer Kinney. This was neither reasonable nor necessary. We say to the DA Ishmael Ozen, if you want to be just and fair, you have to indict. Yes. Yeah. 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 Additionally, the Madison Police Department is neither progressive nor fair. They use the same standards that all police around the country use to justify lethal force, which is one that, which is one that asks whether the force was reasonable and necessary. Again, Tony's murder was neither reasonable nor necessary. That is an unjust standard. And we need a progressive standard for the use of lethal force. Secondly, there is nothing progressive nor fair about the misleading documents MPD released last Friday. Speak on me. Thank you. Most of the reports about police incidents were not about Tony Robinson Jr. Again, I repeat, most of the police incident reports were not about Tony Robinson Jr. Furthermore, the information released by MPD had nothing to do with the 18 seconds that passed between when Officer Kenny approached the apartment where Tony was and when he shot him at least seven times in the chest and head. The facts we know for certain are that Tony was unarmed and was shot multiple times and killed by an officer who has a long history of using force against Madison residents. And we also know Tony was not the first person Kenny has killed. Chief Cobalt has repeatedly said that Madison Police Department is living up to the national standards of policing. But national standards, but national standards of policing have repeatedly found that it is both necessary and reasonable for police to kill unarmed black people. Yeah. MPD continues to say that Madison is different, that the Madison model is what sets us apart and will ensure that Madison is not like Ferguson. But as long as MPD does not operate by truly progressive standards, we will not have justice and right. Madison will be like Ferguson. In closing, I'll leave you with this. Unity and peace will never exist in a community that allows police officers to, to murder with impunity. In the words of the great Martin Luther King Jr., the time is always right to do what is right. Yes. District right. Attorney Ishmael Zinn, do the right thing for our community right. and indict. Thank you. <laughs>